In this exercise, we'll use an air cylinder to operate a multiple linkage mechanism. The retraction of the piston will power the animation. We'll use merge animation bodies on all of the frame parts so they act as one body. Then we'll apply a fixed grounded constraint to them. We'll use merge animation bodies to merge the air cylinder and pin. We'll use it again to merge the piston and pin. And an active slider constraint will be applied between the air cylinder assembly and the piston assembly. We'll use the merge animation bodies to merge the main arm and pin. We'll use it again to merge the two arms and pin in the rear arm assembly. We'll then apply passive hinge constraints to all of the pivot points on the mechanism. The detailed level list will make it easy to manage the display of the parts while applying all of the constraints. The final animation constraints will look like this. The active slider constraint is expanded. We'll use a motor speed of 2. We'll calculate an animation with a duration of 3 seconds to operate the mechanism. So let's work with an actual file, sample file KCV mechanism2.ckd. We're going to move all the parts off of the display right now other than the frame assembly. These frame components are merged together and they have a fixed grounded constraint. Now let's walk back through. We'll turn on the cylinder and pin merged together and the piston and pin merged together. This comprises the air cylinder assembly. And they have an active slider constraint. The main arm and pin are also merged together. The right arm, left arm and pin are merged together. Let's put all the components back on. All of the pivot points in the assembly have passive hinge constraints. Just turned off the animation labels there. Let's click on the animation tab. And you can see the active slider constraint is expanded here. And we have a motor speed of 2 to drive the animation. Let's collapse that active slider constraint. And you can see all of the bodies in the animation. We're going to click on animation calculation. We'll use a duration of 3 seconds and we'll click on the Calculate Animation button. And you can see the movement of the mechanism. Pretty straightforward. So let's recap. In this exercise, we used an air cylinder to operate a multiple linkage mechanism. The retraction of the piston powered the animation. We used merge animation bodies on all of the frame parts so they acted as one body and then we applied a fixed grounded constraint to them. We used merge animation bodies to merge the air cylinder and pin. We used it again to merge the piston and pin and then an active slider constraint was applied between the air cylinder assembly and piston assembly. We used merge animation bodies to merge the main arm and pin and we used it again to merge the two arms and pin in the rear arm assembly. We then applied passive hinge constraints to all of the pivot points on the mechanism. The detailed level list made it easy to manage the display of the parts while applying all of the constraints. The final animation constraints will look like this. The active slider constraint is expanded and we used a motor speed of 2. We calculated an animation with a duration of 3 seconds to operate the mechanism.